Hey, welcome to the Router Tech family. In this quick start guide, I wanted to walk through helping you get started with the Router Tech so we can take it from making sure you have everything in the box right down to getting set up with the app, pairing the Router Tech tracker to your phone, and then getting started with your first scan. So the first thing, let's get started making sure we have everything in the box. So by now you clearly have the router tech health tracker. What you want to do is you want to open the box and make sure that uh, three different things are in it. So the first one, you want to make sure that you have the health tracker. That is the router tech itself. Okay. You want to make sure that you've got a little spray bottle. This just has tap water in it. So nothing fancy. And then we have the charging cable. So the very first thing we want to do is actually charge up the router tech device. However, out of the box, it is ready to use. A single charge of the router tech battery is going to last you for hours. But if you ever want to top it up just to make sure that you can connect this to a USB port, charge it up and you're ready to go. The next step is going to be to get the app downloaded to your phone. So we do have an iOS and an Android app available. So open your phone and go to the app store and then you want to type in Radotech, R-A-D-O-T-E-C-H, or there should be a link in one of the onboarding emails we also sent you. So you may have already completed this step, but let's be, let's be thorough. So here at Radotech Health Monitoring, this is the one we want. Click on open and, or download. Uh, I already have this on my device. So the first thing you are going to be prompted to either log in or create a new account. So in this case, I already have an account, but let me show you what it looks like when you're creating a new account. So click on create profile and you'll fill out this information that you can change at any point. Um, this will be your login details. All right, once you've created your profile or logged in, it's going to take you to the app home screen. Um, I definitely recommend you get acquainted with the app. First, we will be taking care of completing your first measurement as well in just a few seconds. So on the top left-hand corner, you're gonna see those three lines. You wanna click on that. And there's a few things you can do here. Um, you, one of my favorites is the history section because once you take a, a few scans over and over, over the course of your first few days with this, you're going to be able to see a history of your past scans and see what trends are starting to form over time with multiple scans. And we will be getting into some best practices with educational materials that are coming up, um, but definitely go through history, um, go through learning materials. So as you start to get more scans and take more snapshots, you'll be able to understand intimately what some of the readings mean and how to actually take action on making improvements or optimizing what you your current state. Um, and then buy, if you ever want to check out our supp supplement library, you can head over to routertech.com and do that. Okay, so let's actually go through how to take your first scan. So there's some preparation to get started for best practices. The first thing is that the Routertech device, when we start to take our first measurement, it will it will uh, prompt you to connect via Bluetooth. So one thing to note is that you do not need to connect the router tech device via Bluetooth at the phone level. You actually will be able to do this right in the app prior to making your first scan. So that's number one. Number two, if you are on an Android device, please keep in mind that you'll need location services on in the phone settings in order to use the router tech device and take a proper measurement. So be sure that those are good. And now let's prepare for our very first scan. The way Radotech works is there is a node at the top of the device here that will, will be applying to certain meridians on your body. Don't worry, not complicated. The app actually walks you through step-by-step, step, which we'll show you. But because this is an electrical node, we want to set the test up for success. So the very first thing we want to do to prepare the body is take off any metal jewelry. So that's the first thing I'm going to do, take off any earrings, necklace, rings, anything that might interfere with the scan. All right, let's take our first test. So what you want to do on the app is click on measure now, which you'll either see on the home screen or in the menu at the top measure now. The first thing it's going to do, which you can always skip these tips, will give you some best practices for how to hold Radotech. So you do not want to hold it like a pencil. You want to hold it overhand so that your palm is over the metal bit of Radotech. Okay, so again, just pick your dominant hand. It doesn't really matter which one, but it just matters that you're holding it properly. Now, as you're scanning, it doesn't matter 
what way you do it, you do not need to hold it at this specific um, angle, but go like that. Okay, so number one, overhand. And the next one is that we want to take this spray bottle. This is just tap water. So when this runs out, feel free to keep this bottle, fill it up with any old tap water in your house, and you can use this to moisturize the areas that we're scanning. So we're moisturizing the, um, we will be scanning our wrists. We are scanning our ankles on the tops of our feet. Okay. Now, before we go, let's spray a bit of water so I know that we're starting on the right hand around this part here. So I'm just gonna spray one time. You do not need to soak the area, just a little bit of moisture. And then once that's done, click on close. So what will happen, it, uh, what will happen with your device is that if this is the first time you are pairing the Radotech, after you click on next or close at this level, it is going to ask you to pair the Radotech device with your phone. What you do is there's a power button here. You're going to click that for a couple seconds and then you see how it's flashing blue. Blue means it's ready to pair. Okay, so make sure that is done and then you are ready to start metering. Okay, so click on start metering, choose the profile. We're doing a demo right now, so we're, we will do a demo and let's start. Okay. All right, as soon as it beeps, you can see I am pulling it off my skin immediately to not get a misread. You absolutely want to do that as well. Okay. Another thing to note is I'm not actually holding the router tech too hard on my hand. I'm just placing it to make sure that the surface of the node is touching my skin. That's it. Great. So let's complete the scan. All right, the scan is complete. So for those hard to reach areas, you may have actually discovered that the top pulls out, giving you a bit more length for the feet when you're scanning the ankles. Okay, now that the scan is done, you have an opportunity to take some notes on your state and how you were feeling during the scan. For the sake of this video, I am just going to save it and that completes the scan. Okay, once we get that success message, let's actually see our first reading. So let's head back and you can see history and you can see demo on today's date, August the 10th, and here we go. So this is gonna show you um, a few different screens. So the very first screen is going to be just an overall body shot with showing you which organs are above normal, normal below normal. You can click through the chart to see what it means at the organ level. And then for more in-depth information with practical and actionable tips, go to indicators where it's gonna give you a snapshot of where, how your systems overall are functioning from energy level, immune system, metabolism, your psycho-emotional state. If you ever wanna see what each of those means, you could just click into it and you can see a little bit more about that. Now, one of my favorite parts is recommendations. So the recommendation screen will actually give you some cool insights for that snapshot. Outside of that, if you have any follow-up questions for how to best read the data for yourself, or if you'd like some supplement recommendations or just wanna say hi to the team, be sure to email prime at radotech.com and our customer care team will be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much. Enjoy Radotech and here's to optimizing your health.